Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Hugo, I'm a Los Angeles based cinematographer and uh, today I want to talk about this new cool feature in DaVinci Resolve 20 uh, that allows you to edit podcast way faster than before. So there, basically there is a feature that you can actually use uh, uh, artificial intelligence to cut between different angles. So let's say you have a regular podcast where you have three cameras uh, two singles and one two shot on the side. So this uh, AI basically analyzes the whole thing and uh, not only using sound but using also visual reference cuts between those angles depending what's going on in the shot. And uh, I tested out this uh, thing a couple of day days ago uh, on my podcast and actually it worked really really well. So it's not going to be like perfect like it's not to the point where you don't have to do anything but to me personally it kind of saved probably at least two full days of editing because usually the podcasts they're very long and the, the one i shot was over two hours almost three hours so when you do this you actually have to look through the whole thing make all the cards and all the kind of stuff so this thing speeds up your workflow significantly after that, when it cuts all the angles, you still have to polish it, you still cut pieces, but at least it actually gives you the ability to do almost 85, maybe even sometimes 90% of the work with all the cuts. And let me show you how I do this in the Venture Resolve. And by the way, uh, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe. It helps to grow these channels like a lot. So let's jump into it. So basically, I have uh, I have here imported already uh, the camera angles. So I have uh, three camera angles, and I have audio uh, from the same. Um, it, it it broke audio on three pieces, but basically it's uh, it's one thing, one session. So what I'm gonna do just basically I'm gonna select them all, and I'm gonna click uh, to create a new multicam clip. I uh, using selected clips so here you're just gonna look through settings uh, the way you're gonna sync uh, the angles in my case i have time code so i'm just gonna do time code uh, you can just name it the way you want podcast and then um, pretty much it uh, so let's create I actually created this clip with all the files uh, inside already synced up perfectly. So uh, what I like to do is I usually click and uh, open and timeline. So it opens up all the files so you can see what's going on. I see it's randomly placed my three audio tracks uh, on different lines. So basically what I do is I can just move this up so basically, when I place the uh, multicam clip on the timeline, now I just have to make sure that my view is set to uh, dual screen, so dual view. So click on this button and then here, you just have to make sure that you're going to click on multicam. Click on multicam and now you can see all the camera angles. Uh, when you in this mode, then there is here there is a new button here which when you're gonna click it's gonna show you all the settings how the uh, ai is gonna use to actually cut between those cameras and you can actually what's cool it gives you to choose the duration uh, of minimum edit uh, edit change delay and all the kind of stuff i left this by default uh here you can also click on the automatically detect wide angle which is pretty cool and you can even choose how often do you want to see this wide angle which is low medium and high i'm going to keep it on medium by default and uh it's going to also use as, as you can see uh use wide angle for silence like when some what nothing is going on in the podcast it's going to basically jump to the wide angle which i think is also cool and it's going to use wide angle for intro and outro uh, the quality I usually choose better because I feel like it's going to do just a better job. And we're just going to click Analyze. So now it's going to analyze the whole thing. And since my video, my first part of the, my, my podcast is 
uh, at one hour and a half. As you can see, the speed is doing this, actually doing it 49, uh, 50 FPS. So it's like twice as the real time speed. Uh, so it's gonna just watch the whole thing, analyze the angles there, how it's gonna go, uh, where to cut, where intercut. And uh, then it's just gonna make all the cuts and uh, we can just move from there just to polishing and adjusting everything. And by the way, if you want to watch my uh, podcast, it's a cinematography podcast called Cine Talk, and you can find this on my YouTube channel. I talk to uh, famous cinematographers. We talk about their craft, how they shoot stuff, and uh, just cinematography and filmmaking stuff. Very useful, just check it out. So, when it goes through the whole thing, it takes time. Basically, in my case, it took about 45 minutes to actually analyze everything. But once it's analyzed, as you can see, it cuts all the pieces. So if we zoom in, we can see that it has chosen to chew, to cut in different angles, depending on who's talking. And it actually did a pretty good job. I don't have to change much. Of course, there are going to be cases when you want to polish it and maybe move some cuts uh, to your taste. But overall, straight out of the box, the way it did it, it did an incredible job. And trust me, I would have spent so much time doing this and then just did while I was having lunch or coffee, you know, which I think is insane. Side trick, uh, when you do multicom, it's pretty cool because uh, when you do multicom uh, clip, you can actually make all the cuts, but uh, when you want to color grade something or change something, I, I like to uh, go to actually to this multicam, open this in a timeline so I can see all the files that I'm working on, the source files. And then I go to color and here I can just uh, do uh, the color grade where basically if I apply my uh, color grade to the clip, it's going to apply it everywhere. So if I go back to the timeline and if I look through the uh, multicom, as you can see, all the color is applied to all everything. So when I have cuts here, they're all going to be colored. So I don't have to color grade individually each uh, piece. And another thing I, I told you is what I like is uh, when I copy this audio, sometimes audio, if you, if you have too many channels and uh, you just want to work with one channel. I just keep it simple. I just uh, copy the uh, audio uh, track that I want to use. I go back to to the um, timeline, the main timeline I work with, and I'm just gonna uh, copy and paste uh, this clip. And I'm gonna just probably mute or delete the ones that I don't want. And then when I uh, work with multicoms. I'm working only with one audio source, the one I want to use. So that's a pretty cool uh, AI feature that was uh, implemented in DaVinci Resolve 20. And I think this thing, among many other cool tools, this particular one actually saves a lot of time and many uh, content creators who many just do podcasts or maybe just even like simple interviews, you know, when you have different cameras. It can actually speed up your workflow and cut those pieces very decently. So um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.